tan chain launches deep agent cli if you have been wondering can i harness the power of all these large language models like gemini open ai and anthropics models in one cli that can do autonomous coding for me Langchain is positioning Deep Agent CLI as such. Now, before we even learn anything about Deep Agent CLI, it's very important for us to understand that this entire thing is based on a concept that Langchain announced a couple of months back, which is called Deep Agents. So just like they've got Langchain and Langgraph, this is a standalone library that helps you build Deep Agents. Now, what is Deep Agent? A Deep Agent in a simple English is nothing but an agentic system that can do complex open-ended task over a long time horizon. There are three important aspects to it. One, it has to be complex. Second, it has to be open-ended task. Like you're not trying to narrow down the task for it. And then finally, it can do long time horizon. Like it can do like forever, hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Now, the reason why deep agents exist or could succeed is because there are four key elements to those agents. One is planning tool, then access to file system, and then you've got sub agents, very similar like the Claude sub agents. And then you have got a detailed system prompt. And this is sort of the thing that people have been talking about in context engineering. So if you were to simply compare, let's say Langchain, Langgraph and Deep Agents, you can basically put it like this, like Langchain is like the equivalent of your, let's say any library that can bring abstraction and include community plugins. And uh, Langgraph is the equivalent of your crew AI or Pydantic AI. That is an agentic framework helps you build agentic uh, workflows and deep agent is the autonomous agent framework. Now, if you see here very simply, ideally you want to use deep agent when you want more autonomous agents, something that, you know, you want hands off, like you don't want humans there. You want things to be open-ended and the agents to do everything. And that is exactly where deep agent as a system is going to shine because it's great for building more autonomous, longer running agents where you have like all these systems coming into it. And Langgraph, as you know, like you want like low level control and uh, you can just like lesser abstraction and you can just do a lot of things. Like it's got a graph structure. You can build your own agentic workflows and Langchain, of course, everybody knows about Langchain and you have got like a lot of competitors like Llama Index, Crew AI and other things. Now, Deep Agent is what, uh, you know, equivalent to Claude Agent SDK. So if you were to simply look at the Deep Agent ecosystem, this is how it might look. So you've got LLMs that has got access to a bunch of tools. And the LLM has also got access to the Langchain ecosystem. So if you want to bring in RAG from Slack, you can do it. If you want like Google Doc ingestion, you can do it. And then you have got Langgraph on top of it. So Langgraph is going to help you design the low level workflows that you want. Uh, you know, you can design it in a graph structure and deep agents sit on top of it where it has access to the planning tool, file system, sub agent A, sub agent B, sub agent C and all the things like the system prompt uh, encompassing everything together. Now what Langchain has decided to do is, okay, can we take everything that we have learned here and then put it into CLI, just like Gemini CLI, just like Claude code, just like OpenAI codex. Can we put this everything into one CLI that comes with persistent memory? And that is what a deep agent CLI is. The couple of features of deep agent CLI, just like every other CLI agent that you have got. So it can read, write and edit your files in your current folder or wherever you give access. It can run shell commands whenever you give access. It can search web for current information, which is very relevant if you're accessing a library that is not part of the, let's say LLM knowledge, or even if you don't have documentation information in your local computer, it can make HTTP requests to APIs. So it can call things you wanted to design webhook, it can do it. It can learn and remember information across sessions. I think this is probably in my opinion, the most important thing. Uh, every company at this particular point, whether you talk to OpenAI, whether you talk to Anthropic or Gemini, one thing that they're all trying to crack or make these models better at is memory. The ability for the models to remember the right information, the most important information that is valid for the current conversation, which it can bring back from the memory. And deep agent CLI is promising that it can do that. And there are a lot of other features for you to get started with the deep agent CLI. It's very simple. Pip install deep agent CLI or UV pip install deep agent CLI. If you're a UV fan and then all you have to do is you have to set up the API keys and then you're ready to get started. So deep agent follows a very important step that is called a memory first protocol. So everything that you're asking, it is going to go check the memory for relevant knowledge before even answering during research, it's going to do it. And before it answers, it searches the memory and then it looks for everything. And then whenever it learns something new, it is going to go back and then save it in the memory. So it's more like a scratch pad that the agent uses constantly to keep it like permanently stored. 
to keep on improving the coding task overall i find deep agent a very interesting concept if more interest let me know i can make a hands on tutorial about it but for now if you are if you are a fan of cloud code if you are a fan of cloud sdk and all the other agentic sdks that we have got then you should definitely try out deep agent cli because see you in another video happy prompting